I'm Samantha B, and I have some good news to report. Roger Ailes, one of the most powerful men in news and politics, is out. The former Fox News chairman and CEO toppled following accusations of sexual harassment, first made in a lawsuit brought by former anchor Gretchen Carlson. Then this week, reports that Fox star Megyn Kelly told investigators Ailes harassed her when she was a young correspondent in Washington. Congratulations, Roger. You finally achieved your ultimate fantasy, getting fucked by two gorgeous employees at the same time. Oh. Wow. Now. For those of you who aren't forced to watch it for your comedy jobs, Fox News is the only 24-hour news network to feature a strategically placed leg cam to showcase the most qualified body parts of its female contributors. Plus a daily women's show trading on the titillating tension between owning a harem and fear of emasculation. So yeah, turns out the guy who runs that network is kind of a creep, who would have guessed? Roger Ailes made Fox News an unstoppable powerhouse by discovering the secret to big ratings. What viewers really want is to be furiously angry while also having a boner. <laughs> the anger part of the arousal was achieved through Roger's uncanny ability to take a thing that may or may not exist, put an ominous spin on it, and then force feed it to us all day like a foie gras goose until we were terrified. Fox News was his masterpiece, a right-wing nightmare factory powered by white resentment and relentless misinformation, churning out propaganda 24 7 and making family Thanksgivings unbearable for 20 years. But now he's heaved his rancid bulk out of Fox HQ for the last time. Girl power! Oh, we'll never again have to worry about Ailes using his manipulative genius to drag our nation into Mordor like a pervy shelob. Roger Ailes, is he helping you? Is he advising you? Well, I don't want to comment, but he's been a friend of mine for a long time. Holy Christ, we're fucked. Thank <laughs> you.